Samuel Hudson Jr. of Pastor of Harvest Fellowship International, uh, located in Carrollton, Georgia, at uh, 1114 um, Alabama Street, Suite 106, Carrollton, Georgia, uh, 30117. Um, our mailing address is P.O. Box 514, Whitesburg, Georgia, 30185. If you'd like to send us, uh, write to us, or sow a seed into this ministry. Uh, this morning we're going to continue, or actually we're starting uh, another uh, lesson that ties into the previous ones before. Um, we want to talk to you today from a, a title, Purpose Pursued, Purpose Possessed. I want to talk to you today, uh, starting another uh, session of te teachings, Purpose Pursued, Purpose Possessed. Uh, if you would, if you have your Bibles, um, Turn to Romans chapter 4, um, Romans, yeah, Romans chapter 4, and we're going to look at verses 17 through, probably verses 18. Romans chapter 4, uh, verses 17 through uh, 18. And we're talking to you today from a subject, purpose pursued, purpose possessed. We, we hope that you enjoy uh, the other series of teachings that we've uh, made available to you. Uh, hope they're being a blessing in your life. Hopefully they're stirring up uh, the assignment of God in you. Um, if you don't, if you haven't really uh, realized the, the assignment that God has for you, that he even has something for you, we pray that by these uh, series of teachings that is beginning to awaken something in you, that God has purpose for my life, that I was born uh, for the purpose of God, that I'm not a mistake, that I'm not an accident. I don't care what other people have said about you and how things that have happened in your past, but I believe that your past has been leading you up to this very uh, moment in time. Matter of fact, I believe that your past has been preparing you uh, somewhat, somewhat to uh, uh, accomplish and be who you are today. Don't look at your past as failures, but, but begin to evaluate your past and, and, and begin to take notes of things that, that you can learn from. Uh, when you may have made some decisions and, 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 and see how those are decisions, they benefited you or either they uh, kind of handicapped you in some sense. But, but learn from it. Don't let it be a waste of time. If it was a relationship, if it was a business um, uh, deal or procedure or some type of education that you're pursuing and you may have not finished or some things happen along the way. Don't allow that to count you out, but begin to count on that as some type of historical fact in your life that you can build upon. And I want to encourage you today that if you're still alive this morning, that God is not finished with you. Oh, yeah. If you woke up this morning, then your assignment is not over with. There's still an appointment. There's still an anointing waiting to be released in your life. Let God uh, uh, encourage you this morning. I, I want to help do that. If you will, we're looking at Romans chapter 4. Uh, we're going to start at verse 17. We're going to kind of take our time this morning uh, talking about purpose pursued, purpose possessed. Uh, just going to be reading this from the um, King James Version of the Bible. Want to understand, we're going to also be using a, uh, my favorite Bible uh, translation. Uh, is that the Amplified Bible? The Amplified Bible. Love this Bible. This is my friend right here. My Amplified Bible. You know, we also have our King James Bible right here. You know, there are other different translations that may be helpful, but uh, you always want to uh, have the King James version because it because it takes you back to the original text. So when you begin to study the Word of God, uh, you can find out the uh, exactness of it. Uh, before I even read the scripture, I want to show you a couple of tools that we use to study the Word of God. Right here, I have my Strong's Concordance right here. This right here, this King James, and it's amplified, and we use the, the NIV Bible. We use the American Standard. We use uh, the Everyday Bible. There's different versions to get a better uh, understanding, but the King James and my Strong Concordance is where, is where I lay my foundation from, where I get that, and, 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 and most importantly, time spent praying in the Holy Ghost. Uh, Time praying in the spirit, praying in other tongues, praying in the Holy Ghost that I might hear what God would have me to say. I don't, I don't think that I'm so wise that uh, that I can come up with a lot of things, you know what I mean? But I, I really 
purpose on having an ear to hear from the Lord because he makes me look good. God makes me makes it seem as if I'm real intelligent. You know, if I know a lot of things, but it's actually his wisdom that he imparts into us. Let's look at um, Hebrew. I'm sorry. Romans chapter four, verse 17. It says, and as it is written, I have made thee the father of many nations. Before him whom he beloved, I'm sorry, uh, before him whom he believed, even God who quickeneth the dead. And calleth those things which be not as though they were. Verse 18. Who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations. According to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. So shall thy seed be. Now we want to use another scripture for our foundation this morning. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 1 verses 4 through 5. Jeremiah uh, chapter 1, verses 4 through 5. Um, it says, Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Verse 5 says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. I sanctified thee. Oh, yeah, we got to talk about that for a little while. And uh, I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. And we also want to look at Luke chapter 8 and verse 11. This is going to be our third uh, foundation scripture this morning. Luke chapter 8 and verse 11. It says, now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. The seed is the word of the kingdom. That's Matthew 13 and 19 says that also in the Gospels. Um, talking about today, purpose, pursue, purpose, possess. If you notice in, uh, in Romans uh, 4 and 18, it says, against hope, Abraham believed in hope. I want to make a point to you today that uh, when you begin to realize your purpose, we talked about purpose meaning um, God's original intent, his design for your life, which includes or entails your giftings, your, your talents, your callings. And you may have not discovered it yet, but there are giftings and talents in you, spiritual gifts that, that are waiting to be used by the Holy Spirit. As he sees fit and as he purposes, there's natural talents and giftings in you. There's even a calling from God in your life. Uh, but we want to make point number one is that uh, that believing starts the process. Talks about Abraham being the father of faith. Faith uh, means to believe in Christ, to be persuaded, uh, to be assured, to be certain of the truthfulness of God's word and his ability to do what he said he would do. I have confidence in what he said, that he's able to bring it past through me, even though it, it may not feel like it or look like it, but he's able to do it. So it says Abraham, uh, against hope, believed in hope. Understand that believing starts the process. It says Abraham believed in hope. Understand that you're believing. when Once you can hear the word of the Lord, if you can hear this word of the Lord coming to you this morning, um, I believe if you if you if you begin to believe it, it will inspire and cause a hope to begin to be birthed in your life. Hope talks about an expectation. Uh, it also gives the uh, about being pregnant that you're expecting something. You're full of something. God will, will remind you today that there's something in you placed in you by God, and it needs to be awakened by the Holy Spirit. I believe our life situation. Uh, for us walking in the purposes and the plans and giftings of God is real similar to that of Mary, the mother of Jesus, how um, how the Holy Spirit said that the Holy Spirit came up on her and that thing which was in her was of the Holy Spirit. I believe there is a thing in you, purpose, talents, gifts, a calling that is in you, placed in you by God. But when you but it's awakened in you by way of the Holy Spirit. I, I believe that for our lives. I, uh, the purpose of the Lord when you're born again, when which is a spiritual thing that's work by that's, that's the work of God, the Holy Spirit in us to do the work of regeneration. But I believe the filling and the baptism of the Holy Spirit, being filled with the Holy Spirit, uh, the evidence of other tongues. But being, the Holy Spirit uh, 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 is the the uh, creative force behind the purposes of God in our lives. I believe the Holy Spirit puts us in the right timing. So understand Abraham in this verse. Uh, it says that he believed in hope. Understand that word believe simply means to have faith in. He had faith in God that had gave him that word. Whether that word came to him by way of an angel, but he still, when he heard the word, he had faith in the word that he heard. And the, and the word that came to him was what God had made him to be. 
Go back to verse 17. He says, as it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations. 